Hi, I'm Carter Bose. And I'm Preston Rogers. And welcome back to your daily video announcement. Today for lunch, we have chicken and noodles, mashed potatoes, fresh veggies, wheat roll, mandarin oranges, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, I'm Tori, and here today's top five news stories. Donald Trump announces he is running for re-election in 2024. NASA launches Artemis One unmanned spacecraft that will orbit the moon. Family of a man who passed away in Seward County Jail claims he was denied in Sulin. KC Royals confirm they are moving to a new ballpark location. Auditions for senior directed one act set for November 28th and 29th. Here's our word of the week. Reverence. Deep respect for someone or something. Next, a see something, say something announcement. USD 262 students, staff, families, and community members now have an additional way to help keep our school safe. The Speak Up program provides anyone with the ability to send anonymous tips through a secure website, app, or phone number. To learn, to learn more about how the program works and how to make an anonymous tip. Now an ACT announcement. BCHS ACT update. The ACT test center has been moved all students who signed up to take the ACT at BCHS on December 10th to another testing location due to low enrollment numbers. If you signed up to take the ACT on December 10th, please log into your ACT account to see your new test center assignment. If you have questions, please contact Mrs. McDonald. Let's look at some people's Thanksgiving plans. Eat, sleep, spend time with family. Uh, hopefully gain like 10 pounds. Um, I'm going to four Thanksgivings. Uh, I'm Brody Sainer and my Thanksgiving plans are in the morning I have breakfast with one side of the family and then I spend the rest of the night with the other side of the family playing games and doing a bunch of fun family stuff. <laughs> During Thanksgiving break, I'm honestly just going to be spending time with my new nephew. So my plans over Thanksgiving break is me and my friends are throwing a big party. Next, it's Tuesday soon. Here's a college application announcement. If you want any old yearbooks, go to Mr. Cavilla. Old yearbooks are for sale. If you are interested in purchasing, see Cavilla. Yearbooks from 20 and 21 are $20, and yearbooks from 2022 are $50. Head on over to weather. I'm Kennedy, and today's high is 57 degrees, and tonight's low is 36 degrees. Now for a quick blast of the past, so let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay classy, UVC. I appreciate your being here this morning. Mrs. Kennedy is organizing herself. It takes longer. <laughs> but of course she looks better than we do when she does it. But we appreciate your welcome. This city's been a great western city. ...left the chest, and the first unconfirmed reports say the president was hit in the head. There's only... One word to describe the picture here, and that's grief, and much of it. It's official, as of just a few moments ago, the President of the United States is dead. We're here at the Texas School Book Depository, where the area being completely roped off by Dallas Police, the canine units here at the scene. They have little doubt that 24-year-old Lee Oswald of Dallas is the man who shot and killed Dallas Police Officer J.D. Tippett shortly after President Kennedy was shot to death this afternoon. These people have given me a hearing without legal representation or anything. Can you shoot the president? I didn't shoot anybody, no, sir. Uh, this is a sad time for all people. 
we have suffered a loss that cannot be weighed. For me, it is a deep personal tragedy. I know that the world shares the sorrow that Mrs. Kennedy and her family bear. I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help and God's.